This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing here. Multiple choice, analog versus digital. Mm. So right away, guys, we're talking about analog and digital images, right? So I want to make sure first I use code.org's resources. And in order to do that and encourage you to do the same, I'm heading to the Lesson 7 Black and White Images Lesson Resources. So analog data. Data with values that changes continuously or smoothly over time. Some examples include music, colors, paintings, colors of a painting, so on and so forth. Analog data is like this, right? Now, I'm red-green colorblind, so it's kind of difficult for me to see how many colors are here. But obviously, it goes light to dark, and there's a lot of shades in between. Sampling of analog data, maybe I only take, what is this, 8, 4, 7? Uh, 7 times 2, so 14 samples of this data and doing so i end up with this image right i'm attempting to duplicate this and i only take 14 samples which means i go joop 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 grab whatever is there and reproduce it over here it's why it's darker down here because it goes darker so analog data is used so we might sample analog data to create a digital form of it now that being said uh, here's another example, 4-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit, millions, right? So if we do a few samples, look how the image degrades over time. Now with that in mind, which statement about analog and digital images is true? With advanced technology, digital image look exactly like the analog image they represent. Digital by its nature is limited, right? So and it's created and being generated by a computer. We now have maybe a trillion uh, a million colors uh, a trillion colors available on a computer however there is a limit to how many colors can be produced and that limit doesn't exist in the real world so there is going to be a limit to digital information sampling an analog image more frequently produces a digital image with a better representation well this sounds promising because remember when we took few samples it was awful Analog images come from data that is measured at regular intervals? No, that would be the reverse. A digital image comes from that. Digital images come from data that is measured continuously. Again, the reverse. And we could go check those definitions we looked at earlier. So, I'm thinking. Guys, make sure you understand this. You want to go back and listen through, use your lesson resources, because it's going to hurt you in the exam if you don't. All right, onward. 